this is quite possibly the worst idea you've had to date. <sighs> well, this is the last time either of us are going to see this treehouse. This is just a fitting goodbye to all of those games we used to play. You remember when we were spies and this was our base? And we followed my cousin around the garden? I was thinking more of the princess tea party we had when it rained and I got my snow white dress ruined. We were what, four? Five? <laughs> but yeah, that too. <laughs> Slight problem. What? I can't see the ladder anywhere. Oh no, what a shame. I guess we won't be catching hypothermia tonight after all. What's that? The medical term for what's going to happen to us when we sleep in a treehouse outside in the middle of November. <laughs> ah, it's here! <laughs> Got it. Can you pass my stuff up? I can already feel my toes going numb. Now I know you're lying. No I'm not. What? If your toes were numb, you wouldn't be able to feel them. <sighs> oh my god. Consider yourself lucky that I put up with you. So, what food have we got? Why isn't Lisa here? I'd have thought, because, you know, it's her treehouse too. Come on, you know what she'd be like. Well, you know, you, but serious. Or we're gonna die and whining all the time. So you didn't invite her? There's not enough room in here for three people anyway. Well, don't be like this. I'm sorry. I just thought, I guess I wasn't thinking. But we'll do something all together another time, if you want. I just didn't think you and Lise talk that much these days. We don't, really. But we did when we were younger. She thought of most of the games. Why don't we go outside and, I don't know, pelt Maltesers at each other in the dark? Or have a sleeping bag race? Or play Truth or Dare? I don't know. Something stupid. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you're so bad at this. Are you talking to anyone at the moment? Uh. Oh my god, you are Spill. Spill, who is this mysterious boy? Okay, you cannot tell anyone because I'm pretty sure Ellie has a crush on him and she would actually murder me. But, um. I'm. You may or may not be talking to Matthew. Oh my god! Have you not heard? Her what? Okay, well, Mira I have no idea what to wear. I mean, I've got a lot of clothes, but none of them are really suitable for the occasion, if you know what I mean. Um, you know I'm not the best on the fashion front. You should probably talk to Caitlin for that. Uh, well... I don't know, I just feel as if I'm very inadequate. You know, I don't... Talking to Caitlin is kind of like writing a letter to the Queen, you don't really get a response and she doesn't care. You should try it. If you want to be her friend, then you should go be her friend. Just don't forget that I exist. I couldn't do that. You're too annoying. I love you really. Hey boys. If only Ethan could see you now. Don't be such a wimp do it. I'm gonna fall and break my, 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 my sphincter. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna break. Your mum is a nurse. Have you not paid any attention in biology? What? Don't tell me what I do and don't know about biology. The sphincter's a muscle, Will. 
okay, that, that hardly matters. I'm still gonna do something to it. I'm gonna break my rib, my shoulder, my collarbone, everything, if I jump. Do it, and do not think about what you're gonna break. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. What time is it? Um... It's half twelve. I think I'm just gonna go to bed now. Alright, me too. Good night, Annabelle. Night, Willow.